Latest robotic and future technology news from June. Weekly update number 5. Hey guys, welcome back to AI Universe. We are here with another weekly episode of latest robotic and future technology news. In order to create similar videos, we need your support in form of channel subscription. Yes, my friends, if you haven't still subscribed to the channel, then kindly subscribe to it. Moreover, like, comment and share the video with your friends. Without wasting any further time, let's get started. In today's weekly update, the first news is regarding robotic advancement in medical surgeries. According to a new study, robot-assisted surgery can reduce the risk of blood clots and hasten recovery. Patients with bladder cancer who underwent robotic surgery were discharged sooner and were less likely to be readmitted in a world-first trial. Patients undergoing major abdominal operations should be given the choice of robotic surgery, according to doctors and scientists, after a world-first clinical trial indicated the treatments significantly shortened the recovery periods, reduced complications, and reduced the danger of blood clots. Experts at University College London, UCL, and the University of Sheffield discovered that patients who had robot-assisted bladder cancer surgery recovered faster and returned home sooner than patients who had open surgery in groundbreaking three-year research. The findings were presented at the annual meeting of the American Urological Association in New Orleans, Louisiana. When compared to patients who had open surgery, robotic surgery cut the risk of readmission in half, 52% and reduced the occurrence of blood clots by 77%. The findings, according to the researchers, calls into question the concept that open surgery is the gold standard for large surgeries. This is a significant finding, said Professor James Cotto, a professor of urological surgery at the University of Sheffield and co-chief investigator. By adopting this innovative surgery, patients spend less time in the hospital and recover faster. We are seeing fewer issues as a result of the increased mobility and decreased time spent in bed. A total of 338 patients with non-metastatic bladder cancer were divided into two groups, those who had robot-assisted bladder ectomy and reconstruction and those who had open surgery. Previous robotic surgery trials have focused on longer-term outcomes, Kato explained. They have demonstrated comparable cancer cure rates and degrees of long-term healing after surgery. None have looked at differences in the days and weeks following surgery. The researchers discovered that the robot-assisted group stayed in the hospital for an average of 8 days, compared to 10 days for the open surgery group. According to the researchers, readmission to the hospital within 90 days of surgery was reduced by 21% in the robot-assisted group and 32% in the open surgery group. Open surgery involves a surgeon operating directly on a patient with extensive incisions in the skin and muscle, whereas robot-assisted surgery uses surgeons remotely guiding minimally invasive devices. Professor John Kelly, co-chief investigator and professor of urology at UCL and consultant surgeon at University College London Hospitals, stated, In this study, we want to establish if robot-assisted surgery, when compared to open surgery, reduced time spent in hospital reduced readmissions, and led to better levels of fitness and quality of life. On all counts, this was demonstrated. He said that the surprising reduction in blood clots was an unexpected finding. It's a great achievement, isn't it? What do you think about this? Let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Farming is shifting toward precision agriculture technologies. Despite the scarcity of real-world data, proponents believe robotics and AI will soon change agriculture. This is what we are going to discuss next. Chaudhary, a researcher at the University of Illinois, works in a field surrounded by maize, one of the world's most productive monocultures. The corn industry in the United States was valued at $82.6 billion. However, it, like practically every other sector of the agricultural economy, faces serious challenges, such as shifting weather patterns, environmental degradation, acute labor shortages, and rising costs of crucial inputs such as herbicides, pesticides, and seed. No sector of agriculture is without strong supporters of robots and artificial intelligence as solutions to, essentially, all of the difficulties that farmers face today. Their perspectives range from technology that supplements existing agricultural methods to a complete reimagining of agriculture that eliminates tractors, soil, sunlight, weather, and even being outside as aspects in farm life. However, the promises of precision agriculture have yet to be fulfilled, because the majority of the promised solutions have yet to hit the market. Few final pricings have been set, and there is precious little real-world data confirming whether they perform. Nonetheless, 
Chaudhary, a co-founder and chief technology officer of EarthSense, the firm that creates those bagel-sized robots, is optimistic that the acceptance of his robots would catapult farmers beyond precision agriculture and into a new way of thinking about farming. He claims that most farmers are currently focused on yield, defining success as growing more on the same amount of land. As a result, industrial monocultures drenched with chemicals and nurtured by vast and ever-expensive machinery can be found from horizon to horizon. Chaudhary envisions a future of smaller farms living more in tune with nature, growing a variety of higher-value products with fewer pesticides, with the help of his robots. Before moving on to the last news, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. With a new AI breakthrough, nuclear fusion is one step closer. The green energy revolution is rapidly approaching. The green energy revolution promised by nuclear fusion has moved one step closer due to the first successful application of a cutting-edge artificial intelligence system to form the superheated hydrogen plasmas inside a fusion reactor. The successful testing suggests that the use of AI could be a breakthrough in the long-running search for nuclear fusion-generated electricity, bringing its adoption to replace fossil fuel and nuclear fission on the modern power grids tantalizingly close. I believe AI will play a very important role in the future control of tokamaks and in fusion science in general said Federico Felici, a physicist at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, EPFL, and one of the project's founders. The donut-shaped fusion reactor appears to be the most promising for managing nuclear fusion. A tokamak design is being used for the enormous international ITER, the way in Latin, project being developed in France. And some proponents believe a tokamak will be in commercial operation by 2030. According to Felici, the tokamak is primarily controlled by 19 magnetic coils that may be used to shape and position the hydrogen plasma inside the fusion chamber while directing an electric current across it. DeepMind's AI, a deep reinforcement learning RL system, was first taught on tokamak simulations, a cheaper and much safer alternative to the actual thing. However, computer simulations are time-consuming. It takes several hours to mimic a few seconds of real-time tokamak operation. Furthermore, the experimental state of the TCV can change from day to day. Therefore, the AI developers required it to account for those changes in the simulations. In the most popular designs, the AI proved adept at positioning and directing the plasma inside the tokamak's fusion chamber. Furthermore, it was able to form the plasma into droplets. Separate upper and bottom rings of plasma within the chamber, a feat never before accomplished. The droplet shape was quite easy to do with machine learning, according to Felici. All we had to do was ask the controller to produce the plasma that way, and the AI found out how to achieve it. Now we may try to apply the same notions to even more complex issues, he said. We can use these kinds of technologies to more advanced challenges because we are obtaining far better simulations of how the tokamak functions. The researchers also saw that the AI was employing the magnetic coils to manage the plasmas inside the container in a different way than the traditional control system would have, he said. Several countries are developing demo reactor designs. One of the most sophisticated, Europe's Eurofusion reactor, is scheduled to begin operations in 2051. That's all for this weekly news update. We'll be back with another episode soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you in the next video. Till then, peace.